what's up guys, Nick here with my review for Arrow Season 4, Episode 17, titled Beacon of Hope. Now, in this episode, we see the return of the bug-eyed bandit from The Flash, who we saw in an earlier episode titled All-Star Team-Up, where she was up against The Flash and The Atom. Now, this time, it seems that she is after something that will help her heal her own personal medical problems, and the only way she can do that is by stealing a prototype microchip from Felicity Smoke, which is helping her walk again and fix her spine. Fine. And since there's only one of those that are built in the world, she has to get it from Felicity, thus kind of making Felicity paralyzed again, or theoretically paralyzed if she were able to get it. Now all the while, since Felicity has now basically quit Team Arrow, they have to sub in Mr. Terrific, aka Curtis, to help out the team in the technical aspects. I thought that was a really cool portion of the episode, where we got to see Curtis interacting with the rest of Team Arrow and kind of realizing that like, wow, all these people are costume heroes, you know? It'd be kind of a big realization for someone and you know it kind of reminded me a bit of Cisco in that sense because he had a sensibility about him that was kind of fun but he knew what he was doing and he just played off the other characters really well. Now I think the biggest issues that I have with the episode is that it, the show seems to be constantly hammering in the fact that Felicity and Oliver need to be together because of some unexplained reason and they have to keep pining for each other even though they've kind of broken up, gotten back together, sorted out their differences, argued over the same few things like over and over again. I'm just really kind of unsure as to why the writers and showrunners of this keep kind of, you know, hammering that fact down, even though clearly there are a lot of people that don't like the Felicity Oliver relationship, but they keep, you know, just going back to that. It's really annoying. And the fact that they keep making Felicity's character kind of like this be all, know all, like she's the best character on the show, kind of. She ends up being the one that takes out the bug eyed bandit in the end when Oliver can't even do it himself and he gets shot trying to save her again and she's ungrateful to him for saving her. So, I don't know, like, to me, Arrow has just gone to such a low point now in the show. Like, I really did not like this episode at all, and I think that we've been kind of gypped as to what they were selling us with season four. They were saying that it was going to be more like the comic books, Oliver was going to be more fun, it was going to have a more lighthearted tone to it, and feel more like the Green Arrow that we know. And it's kind of a sad fact when we, the best version of Green Arrow that we've ever gotten on a CW show has been on Legends of Tomorrow when they went to the future and were interacting with old man Oliver Queen. I mean, that just kind of speaks volumes as to the level of quality on the show that has just dipped so far from season two, which was like the golden age of Arrow. But now it's all just about Felicity because apparently the show revolves around her now. So anyways, I'm going to give this episode a six out of 10. I didn't really enjoy it that much. And I thought the bug-eyed bandit was like kind of a goofy villain that didn't really fit on the show. She fits more like on the flash kind of in terms of tone but whatever. I guess I'll possibly tune in next week to see what's gonna happen. So anyways, tell me down below what you guys thought of the episode if you got a chance to check it out, and what are your thoughts on the Felicity Oliver thing that they keep trying to hammer down into our show here? Leave all your thoughts down in the comment section below if you're new to the channel and you like this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there to keep up to date on all of our latest content. My name is Snake, and I'll catch you guys next week.